Hello! It is Monday, some awful hour in the morning, and we are at LAX. Thank you, Rachel. She's steering me this way. We are on our way to Africa! These are some of our teammates. This is Alana. Bring it in. This is Reese. <laughs> Y'all know that guy. And um, we are actually traveling to Liberia, Africa. Um, we are going with a nonprofit called Containers of Hope. And our kind of like goal in the trip is just to reach out to the overwhelming amount of orphans in the country. So I'm really excited. It's something that I'm definitely passionate about. I'm getting out of breath. So I'm gonna put this away. Guys, I'm doing so much better vlogging in public. I'm like not getting awkward actually. I just started feeling awkward. Well, I, for I, made, I made eye contact. <laughs> Anyways, bye. Bye. Prediction. Um, um. <laughs> I was on my head off. The demonstration has limited the size and quantity of our This is our fearless leader. <laughs> Andreas Ruiz, Andreas Ruiz, please stop attention. Andreas Ruiz, please stop attention. Hello, we're getting ready to take off. We're getting ready, and Heather's stuck with me the whole time. I know. But can't I brought her. Right yeah, we can call her together. Are in, where are we? Yeah. No, DC. Washington, DC. We're in Washington. <laughs> this could be an epic fail. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you didn't even get off the ground. <laughs> Flight number two from DC to Brussels. Six hours and 45 minutes. I'm with Breach. We are very excited. I feel like it still hasn't hit me all the way that we're going, but I'm very excited. Um, the picture we were trying to get did not turn out. So, can we show you one? Yeah. No. She's trying to jump over my head. I look like a red troll. <laughs> I'm gonna take some sequel and knock out. Amen. Yeah. To an airplane hangar, and we're with all these people, and still have no idea what's going on. Please make sure that you tell one of my colleagues that you want to be rejoined with your family that is in Zambia. We are now all laying in this aircraft hangar. Still, <laughs> they literally are handing out cardboard boxes. <laughs> For us to lay on, and they just announced that there is going to be a controlled explosion going off, and that we shouldn't panic. Which I don't know how you don't panic when there's an explosion going off. So we'll see, but it is so cold, and we are hoping that they're going to be bringing us blankets and stuff soon, and that hopefully we can get like shuttled to a hotel. But, uh. hey guys, hey. We made it on literally the second to last bus. Um, they've been like busing people out to different shelters and stuff and we barely made it, like barely made it. And so now we're on a bus and they're giving these cute little snacks. Maybe Look at the slaughter. Got a cake. And yeah, we're real squished. Keep hearing all these rumors like 
the airport's closed for a week, the airport's closed for three days, so we're just hoping that we can get out of here as soon as possible to get to Liberia, but yeah. Basically, like, what we're wearing is all we have, so. Yikes! We just got to our spot that we're staying. It's like this giant room, and they have soup for us, and then cots for us to sleep on and blankets and stuff, so. It's like everybody's like stressed out, but then at the same time just like accepted that this is our reality and we still don't know when the airport's gonna open or when we're gonna be released or what we're gonna do. <laughs> but we're all together, so I'm very thankful for that. We just got assigned our cot. They gave us these like hygiene packs and they've been feeding us and taking care of us and it's just been really cool. Um, so the Red Cross is actually who's been taking care of us and they're just doing an awesome job. Hey bruh, how are you feeling? Good, ready for bed? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, hey. Good morning, it is like 4 a.m. Most people are sleeping but it's kind of hard to sleep when you're like worried about your stuff getting taken and it's really bright which is cool because it's not scary but at the same time it's just like hard to sleep and it's kind of cold so just kind of waiting to see you know what is next I'm hoping that we're not stuck in here for like three days but we'll see mm. Supposedly breakfast is coming at 9, but they have like a food line, so we just went through <laughs> and got so much stuff. Like People here must story. think we're like crazy trying to like bring some laughter into the place. But we're, it's really cool because there's literally people here from everywhere. Like from Africa, from Paris, from, yeah, it was awesome. So we've been just like talking to people and trying to make friends. We got some chocolate waffles, got a little bread, got some Red Bull orange juice pastries, uh, cheese. You came up real good. Mmm. Chips. Chips. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Made a friend. Who's <laughs> We just got the news that we are getting out of here. We are going to take a train to Amsterdam and then fly out of Amsterdam tomorrow morning. So we are all extremely excited. The fact that we're like moving and on our way to Africa. We're all like hoping we can find some kind of like Target hip store so we can buy some clothes because we have no idea when we're gonna be getting our luggage. So we might be stinking it up in Africa for a while. <laughs> we are in Leuven. We're in Leuven. <laughs> And um, we are trying to catch a train to our next stop. <laughs> In a probe. <laughs> Since we don't have any luggage for the next two weeks, we um, went and raided all of these like random little shops at the airport to try to find clothes for the next week and a half that we're gonna be in Liberia because we literally have nothing. Me, Brett, and Rachel are sharing a room and we've gotten so many um, people reaching out to us and letting us know we're praying for them and I heard we're like on all these news channels and stuff which is just crazy to me and it's awesome to see people um, just reaching out and supporting us has been, it's been really cool. 